Painting is a such a personal thing. It just takes me away from my daily routine. It's a space where I go to find my head space again, where it gives me real alone time, where nothing distracts me. It's a space that I feel I belong. Painting and cooking are two very different things, but creative process are very similar. It's just being in that right head space. I think that's the most important thing and that's what drives me. When people ask me what I cook, it was so hard for me to explain what it is because it's not French, it's not Italian. You can't culturally like put it into a box and say, this is it and I'm Sri Lankan and I never really cooked Sri Lankan food. I really learned you don't need to stick to classic flavor combinations. You can try different things and you don't need a recipe. You just understand how things work and you build a recipe on that. I started reading a lot on food and other restaurants, what others are doing. Slowly, I, I started being very, very serious about my cooking skills. It's where I learned what discipline is and I saw what it takes to be in that level, and it was very eye-opening. I just had a suitcase full of clothes, and that was it, and my chef's knives. Walked around town, handing my CV. One of the biggest breaks I had in Singapore is when I did this dessert, it was a coconut semi-frito with a laksa leaf ice cream and green chili. I first came to know Rishi because I went to uh, eat in this restaurant called Maka. I remember that one of the dishes there was ice cream with curry leaves, and it was a chili type of ice cream. So it was an in intriguing flavor, so you could call it European in some sense. It was like a 10 minute chat. He didn't even ask about cooking, he asked about me, my family. He went with his gut feeling, and I went with my gut feeling. For me, modern Australian is having that sense of freedom. Would I, I could cook what I think I should cook. So I had that sense of freedom and that's one thing that Australia gave to me. We are always looking for special talent. We're always looking for people with an ability to translate their personality onto the dish and to transpose their whole philosophy into a proper restaurant. So I think Rishi was one of those unique talents It has inspiration from the places I've traveled to. Things I love to eat, things I love to drink. And I always tell people it's two places I actually spend most of my life, Sri Lanka and Australia, and it comes in one place. He's a very, very warm person. That was definitely one of the characteristics that I really, really loved about him. And that definitely 
came along through the journey. We both love hospitality, so, you know, in hospitality, it's about everything that's involved in restaurants, the food, you know, wine, the ambiance, the people that surrounding us, our team. It's like we're a family. So it really works well, us working together. Mostly I was vegetarian growing up, but one thing I loved eating was crab and it was a Sunday thing for us because it's the only day that you have so much time just to sit down for a few hours and just eat through crabs. But to be honest, I'm not sure if it's as good as my mom's, but it comes pretty close when you really crave for it. Luckily, my parents hasn't been to Couture. They'll have a lot to say. My dad is a proper critic when it comes to food. He has an opinion about everything and he's not shy to express that. And my mom is such a good cook. They'll probably rip it apart, but I'm pretty sure they'll still be very proud. So I think over the years, the confidence has grown. The, the part of himself, I would say, can put his personality on the plate. And that requires you to be a little bit vulnerable. I think Rishi's vision was really to have a stronger expression of his Sri Lankan heritage. For me, giving back to Sri Lanka means sharing my knowledge and things I've learned over the last 20 years. I want to show them if a Sri Lankan kid that grew up in an average family can come this far, they all could do it.